Hey everyone, I'm Marissa J and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Now, today we're going to be talking about TV shows that are indoctrinating children. If you haven't seen my last video, we talked about what kids are learning in public schools. You want to make sure you check that one out. I'll leave a card above and a link in the description box. But today, we're going to get right into the video. We're looking at TV shows that you probably watched. I know I did. Watched them as a kid growing up and now they have changed so much. So let's get right into it because we're going to look at a few of them. Okay, so I do want to preface this with saying this first show that we're going to look at is Blue's Clues. Now, Blue's Clues is a show that many people are very familiar with. I mean, you had the original, which was Steve, and he would go around the house in the neighborhood looking for clues that Blue was leaving him. And it was very basic, problem solving, cute, normal little innocent show. But now, let's take a look. This is Blue's Clues, a show that is targeted primarily for preschool age and early elementary. And this is what they are now being taught in Blue's Clues. You see the characters here. I mean, they're got the, they've got the rainbow colors and it's pride and they've got everybody smiling and happy. And this is the narrative that is being pushed onto our little littles, onto the very young ones at such an early age that this is okay. It's happy and it, it seems awesome. Everybody's smiling. They have two mommies. They have two daddies. The kids look happy. And this can be a family. And that's not true. According to the Bible, this is not the way that we were created to live. This does not please God. And yet they are pushing this narrative off on the kids that this is great and fun and you should be a part of this and you should support this and this should be encouraged and if you if you join in you're going to be smiling and happy like these bears and these alligators and this happy little drag with the rainbow colors that's singing the song and it's all upbeat in a familiar tune no this is not okay especially if your children if you're any kind of traditional belief system morals and especially if you're a believer who lives according to the word of God. The word of God says homosexuality is a sin. It's something that doesn't please God. I mean, think about it. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of this exact stuff right here. So how can we be happy and smiling and it's, oh, this is great. No, not when you know how God feels about it. But this is what's being pushed on the kids early. And it's one of those things where, you know, as adults, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, when I was a kid, I used to watch these shows. Yes, we watch these shows, but we can't just let our guards down and say, I watched it when I was a kid. It's fine. Here you go. You can watch this and not pay attention to the content and the messaging that's being put out there. The messaging has changed. The name of the show is the same. The characters might be very similar, but well, except this new one here, but the messaging has changed and so it's very important before we allow our children to watch anything we've got to vet this stuff now let's look at another one because this is arthur right. racism is so unfair no one should ever judge someone by the color of their skin but how could it happen here in elwood city right outside the sugar bowl buster it happens everywhere i was talking to mrs mcgrady the other day she said there's a really long history of black people not being treated fairly in this country. It has to stop. We have to do something. Yeah. But what can we do? I mean, I'm eight. I can't even fry an egg on my own. I don't know. Maybe Mrs. McGrady can give us some ideas. Hold on. Hello, boys. I'm so glad you reached the team. Yes, I saw the video too. And let me tell you, it made my blood boil. Me too! It also made me scared. I mean, this happened in our neighborhood. It is scary, Buster. But you should know that a lot of folks are fighting racism and working hard to keep us all safe. Okay. And it, it goes on. But we're going to stop there. This is Arthur, a show that, again, was cute and innocent. When I was a kid, I remember a particular episode with Arthur where they sang a song saying, having fun isn't hard. 
when you have a library card. That is the kind of thing that needs to be taught, you know, in, in, in kids shows like this. Have a library card. Read a book. Reading is fun. Reading is what smart people do. That was the messaging then, and that was good. Now here, we fast forward, and he's eight, talking about racism. Not only that, racism is not, you know, a topic that needs to be, you know, brought up and taught in a kid's show. But at the same time, they're also teaching kids how to feel about this, right? Oh, this is this is happening. Oh, my goodness. I saw this video. It makes you feel scared. It makes you feel uh, uh, angry. Oh, it makes my blood boil. Like it, it's pushing a narrative onto children about, about this is how you should feel about this. Now, imagine if you're seven, eight years old watching the show and now you're saying, OK, racism, racism. This is what's happening. Oh, Arthur, he saw a video about racism there was something that happened in their city that was racist and now they're saying i should feel angry and i should feel scared and i should you know my blood should boil over this that's the message that they're receiving now imagine that's at seven and eight years old and they continue getting those messages the older that they get and now they become this angry adult um no this is not what children should be getting from a show like Arthur. You have personal conversations in your own household based on your own belief system with your kids, but TV shows should not be teaching this type of content. But we're not done with Arthur. There's more. Mr. Ben, who is Mr. Ratburn marrying? <laughs> Now, of course, this one is a little older, so I know by now most of us have already probably seen this, heard about this, because I know it was a it was a hot topic when it came out. Same show, Arthur. Like I said, when we were kids, this was not we you y'all y'all remember Mr. Ratburn? He was the teacher. There was no relationship stuff going on, and especially not in this way. A gay wedding was not happening years ago but now they've got them proudly walking down the aisle and, and once again smiling and that is the narrative that is being pushed on these kids these kids are being indoctrinated let's keep going my partner and i bought the web the web house oh i know all about that a gorgeous mid-century tutor on the wait did you say partner or partner yes my husband I'm pretty sure our kids go to school together too, right? Your husband. So, Nay, don't worry about the small stuff. Your loan is going to sail right through after all. All right, and so I'm going to stop it there, but this show actually is, is, is pretty bad in that it continues on. The, the husband comes in. They actually allow these two characters to, to kiss on this show. Imagine allowing your child to sit here watching this especially if it's contrary to your belief system they're just sitting here watching and seeing it once again that same indoctrination that same messaging that is being pushed that that type of lifestyle is okay um no it's not okay and this is the proud family if you don't recognize it proud family again was one of those shows i used to watch when i was a kid and this was not happening okay this was not happening um and so that's why I'm going to reiterate again. It is important that we don't let our guards down and just say, oh, I used to watch this when I was a kid. It's fine. No, it is not fine anymore. Let me show you one more. Sesame Street, y'all. Oh, <laughs> okay, everybody, everybody. I want you to meet my brother, Dave. Hi. His husband, Frank. Hi. Sesame Street. Yeah, okay, everybody knows Sesame Street. I mean, we all watch Sesame Street, right? I mean, Sesame Street was counting, it was numbers, it was let's learn, right? Of course, they had like little, you know, things here and there, side the Elmo's world and whatever. But for the most part, Sesame Street was all learning. It was just this good, wholesome show. And now the kids are seeing homosexuals, poppy, daddy. And then once again, they're just like a happy little family is the narrative that is being pushed on 
young children, guys, I know y'all see, there's the agenda. And while some of these things initially came out maybe a year or two ago, the, the concept and the, and the message in this video is that we have to be on guard. We have to not only guard our hearts, but we have to guard the hearts of the children in our lives as well. We have to be aware of what is being pushed, what indoctrination is taking place, what agendas are out there to make sure that we guard the hearts of those little children. They are innocent and we want to maintain that innocence. We've always known kids to be innocent and now we live in a time where that's, it's changing. And we have to make sure that we don't allow the enemy to come in and push this stuff off on our kids. As you can see, um, they are really just pushing this, this, this messaging, really indoctrinating the kids, starting them out at an early age to have certain belief systems surrounding certain topics that many of us don't agree with. Um, and it's our job to make sure that we are guarding our children's hearts, that we are on guard, that we are prayerful, that we are vigilant, and that we are intentional about not um, being conformed to the world. It's important that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind, as Romans 12, 2 talks about. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please share, give it a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.